And then they decided George Bush was elected. For whatever reason, they decided to walk away from fiscal responsibility. He comes in and they sign a prescription drug benefit. Another big entitlement. On down the line, just deficits, three, four, five hundred billion dollars a year. And I'm saying to myself, what is going on? All the work that was done in the 80s and, and the conservatives elected in the 90s. And here we finally get a president who says he's a cons fiscal conservative and a Congress that claims to be fiscally conservative. And they completely walk away from it. In 2005, that's when I walked away from the Republican Party. I said, I've had enough. I'm not going to play those games anymore. Done with it. That brings me to this. We have a Senate seat here in Missouri. Congressman Blunt. He's been anointed by the GOP. as the one that's going to, to uh, take this seat and run against Robin Carnahan. I am not speaking for the Tea Party movement. I am speaking for myself when I say that I cannot support Congressman Blunt in the primary election. <laughs> Congressman Blunt was in the leadership role in the House of Representatives when a Republican president and a Republican-controlled House and Senate ran up almost $5 trillion in debt. And it would take a microscope to find spending bills that Congressman Blunt voted against during that time. He voted for prescription drug bill. He voted for most all the farm bills. He voted for the bailouts. And recently he's voted for the cash for clunkers. He voted for an additional $2 billion for cash for clunker, clunkers. Congressman Blunt needs to be held accountable for his votes. I will be supporting Chuck Ferguson in the primary. Chuck Ferguson is a, is, a, is, a, is a senator here in Missouri. He's a social and fiscal conservative who has pledged to serve only two terms because he believes in term limits. And I can, and I, I can hear the Republicans right now, but, but you don't understand. Congressman Blunt is, has the best chance to beat Robert Carnahan. I reject that argument. I believe people are tired of the same old names running.